<laughs> Welcome, world adventurers. The future is bright. <laughs> Welcome, seekers. Welcome, doers. Welcome, one and all. I am King Captain. <laughs> and I know what the future holds, my friends. Today, we have the cards. Yes, the cards. They tell us everything we need to know. And we're going to be taking calls. Call me now and know what the future holds. Call me now. Is your girlfriend cheating on you? Are you going to get that raise at work? What horse to bet on? We're going to find out. Call me now. The cards have all the answers. What does your future hold, friends? If you want a reading, call us up on the Discord. Call King Captain! Call King Captain! Future on the phone! Oh, oh hello, what's that? Let's find out! All right, I'm gonna take a call here. No calls so far, no calls. That's okay, that's okay. King Captain has foreseen this. King Captain knew there would be no calls. That's why King Captain has prepared a song. <clears throat> In time we will know what we don't want to know when we call. Okay, call me now and all the future will be foretold. Nobody's calling. Not a single caller. That's okay, that's okay. King Captain knew that there would not be any callers. That's why King Captain prepared a dance. Summoning the rain, my dance has summoned the calls. Yes, let us take a call. Earth Sea, thank you for calling King Captain. Mm -hmm. Earth Sea, what questions do you have about the future that you want the King Captain to answer? Hmm. Um. <laughs> Let me think of something. Hold on. Uh, how much money do I need for the next boss for No More Heroes? I'm stuck. Let me put on my divination goggles. Shout the question as loud as you can, Earthsea. How much how much money do I need for the boss for no more heroes? I'm on the first boss. There's a money system. Your card is the magician, Earthsea. 
Oh shit. The, ma the magician card indicates that you have the power to create all things in your heart. Money is not an oh. issue. Neither is the bird with the eyes on it. This is the snoggle. And the snoggle is guiding you, Earthsea. And in this I've... hand, you hold the grapevine. And the grapevine represents the first boss from No More Heroes. Oh. And what you need to do, Earthsea, is realize that between the snoggle and the boss, the first boss of No More Heroes is you. Mm -hmm. and, your oh. eye, and your eyes are crooked, Earthsea, because you look down with the left eye, yet you look straight with the right eye. And you need to align your vision. Because only then will you take the, the goblet in, the, in your bloody hand and drink from it. And then the snuggle will, will be pleased. I, I think I understand. Next, call me now. Call me now. Earthsea asked. Earthsea asked a frivolous question. And thus Earthsea received a frivolous answer. For within the cards, the answers to all things great and small reside. And for small questions, we shall have small answers. And for greater questions, we shall have great answers. And then I, I predict a great answer from Warren. Warren, you've joined King Captain. Warren. Yes, hello. No. That's okay. <clears throat> Warren is in, a, in a, a spiritual crisis right now. Warren will call back when he's clarified his intent. Eric with a K. As in Hello. chaos. Yes, that is correct. Eric, chaotic Eric, I sense your chaos energy coming through Discord. Yes, to, uh, I have a question that I need answering. What, what question? Ask away, Eric, and the cards know everything and shall reveal the answers. Um, I'm very confused as to what I need to do with my career path. Uh, the chaos in me calls towards restaurant management because the kitchens are always quite chaotic, but I'm not sure if that's the right path. I would like a reading to know if that's the right career path for me. Chaotic Eric wants to know if restaurant management is chaotic enough for his spiritual energy, for his chi, and for his spirit animal. Your card is the Three of Wands. And Chaotic Eric, this is you. Chaotic Eric, the wands represent passion. And, and these ghosts are actually napkins. Yes, because your passion for restaurant management has caused the patrons to throw their napkins up into the air. And yet at the same time, you were dissatisfied. The three represents mind, body, and sp spirit. The apple is your spirit. It's as if you've consumed it without a single bite. You've eaten the apple whole. Naughty, naughty. That was, that was really formative and very helpful. This, um, mm. here from your backside, from your blasted buttocks the blasting of gestation food being digested I believe this reading indicates if you have a passion for restaurant management you should go with that passion but if you have any hesitation you should examine it closely 
because only by aligning mind, body, and spirit will the patrons throw their napkins up into the air in celebration. I appreciate Coolly, coolly forever. Call me now, FLCL forever, if you want to know, will FLCL ever come back? How many seasons in total, the cards know? Looks like we have no signal. Bender McBender, you're on the line with King Captain. Hello, King Captain. Thank you for joining me with the seance. Uh, I'm this is not to a seance. There are no ghosts tarot, tarot reading. being Sorry. invoked Sorry. here. But it's okay. Fender McBender, what is your question? Sorry. Uh, I'm looking to see if you can sort of visualize any, um, some spiritual hot spots in my place of residence. If you can sort of visualize where I'm living and see where I should sort of move my bed, uh, place of sleeping, place of eating, what is the place that I can really hone in on positive energies and shoo-shoo the negative ones. A complicated question requires a complicated answer, so... Shout your question out as loud as you can, and I will pull a card to see. What Where do I say. put this bed? Where do I put the bed? Where do I put my bed? Where do I put my bed? The Knave of Swords. The Knave of Swords. The Knave represents a person. This person may be a child or a teenager. And this person may be you. I believe the Knave of Swords may be you, Fender McBender. With mm. one tear, you cry. With the other tear, lightning spouts. And yet you are, you are blinded to, to your own destiny. Upon your tongue, the sharp sword of your wit. You are undoubtedly intelligent because the swords represent the mind by mm. which... You cut people with your wit, and yet you are the knave. You are still inexperienced. And someday this crown shall descend upon you, but not wow. until you master the sword of your tongue and stop the left tears from dripping. Raddle girl. Yes. Do you have a question for King Captain and the cards of tomorrow? I want to know if I will find my true love this year. Oh, a, a question about love. I think that this is a very complicated question and will require a very complicated answer. Uh -huh. And perhaps we should draw two cards. Okay. A, a, a problem and solution. Raggle, rattle girl, shout your question as loud as you can. Will I find my true love this year? The lovers. Need I say more? Oh my god, it's happening. This is your problem card. Oh no. <laughs> your problem card is the problem with love. The lovers represent people who want to be in love and yet are divided and cannot find the solution to their problems. Is it a person who stands between them? Is it a relative of the Flugels? A spiritual being that haunts them from up above. 
In some way, the lovers must reconcile the unseen problem that keeps them apart. Clearly, this is the problem you called about. Let us mm. find the solution. Mm -hmm. It's the, it's the card. It's the promo card for the deck. Oh, well. I'm supposed to take that out. <laughs> Let's draw another card. Another solution card. <laughs> I know everybody is anticipating the answer deeply. The Two of Swords. The Two of Swords. Rattle Girl, the Two of Swords represents a decision to be made. And, and this is you. These are your decisions. The one thought piercing you from from the mind up above, the second thought slashing your tongue from below. You don't know what to think. You don't know what to say. Mm -hmm. And yet you are totally lost. Mm -hmm. These thoughts, the knives, they, they're on fire because you are passionate, oh, yeah. because this is a passionate question, but also they're holding back your fire from exploding. I don't know what your decision is, Rattle Girl, but the cards say you have a decision to be made, and one where all of the information is not quite clear. I would think dearly about this question you want answer and do some research, maybe some soul searching. Perhaps love is closer than you think. Perhaps. Uh, Reinhold, you're on the phone with King Captain. Hello? Uh, Reinhold. Yo. What is your question, Herr Reinhold? Um, I just need to know, uh, is, is, uh, danger presently in my vicinity? Shout your uh, question as loud as you can. Am I currently in danger or am I currently safe? Please help me. The King of Swords. Oh, let's go. Herr Reinhold, I am happy to say you are very safe because you are in the presence of a very strong person who you look up to. I don't know who this person is but the king represents an actual person in your life. A mentor, perhaps, somebody very intelligent, somebody who is a fabulous dresser, fabulous wardrobe, shines with the rainbow of two king crowns. You might think it is me, King Captain. I was gonna say you, but you might think it also kind of sounds like my father. You might think it's me, King Captain, but I only wear one crown. Does your father wear two crowns? <laughs> I think I could ask him. I bet your father has two crowns. And if it is so, then you are in no danger because your father, the King of Swords, will protect you. With his, I can rest easy. Thank you. He will I appreciate protect it. you to the very end, even if he must stab himself in the heart. That represents his love for you self-sacrificial i'm i'm tearing up right now it's so beautiful reuben you have called king captain huh? reuben you call from around the world to seek answers from the king captain yeah so I'm just calling in regards to, you know, fashion is a pretty big influence in my life, something important. And I guess where would the card show and what's the next trend in fashion? What to just get on this and really reveal to everyone that 
know, this is the next big thing. This is your card, Reuben. This is your card. The Four of Pentacles. This is you, Reuben. So pent up with pentacles on the eyes and pentacles on the tongue and pentacles on the brain. Reuben, all you think about is pentacles and you're consumed by pentacles and the flames of the pentacles are bursting out of your eyebrows, Reuben, and it's making your hair catch on fire and the clouds are on fire because the pentacles are doing this to you, Reuben and the devil's trident hangs in the clouds, and all you can think about are these pentacles. You've got to lighten up, Reuben. You've got to chill out. Stop and smell the flowers, okay? Jesus, Reuben. Para-raccoon. Hey, uh, King Captain, it's an honor. You have called King Captain in the cards of tomorrow. What question do you seek an answer to? So, uh, I'm a musician. I made an album recently. It's coming out soon, and I want to know, did I did I do a good job? Are people going to like my rock album, rock album in 2021? Are people going to hear it? Okay, scream your question as loud as you can. Will people like my album? The Queen of Pentacles. Please. Huh? The Queen of Pentacles. Oh. I may not have the answer, but the Queen of Pentacles does. The Queen of Pentacles knows everything there is to know about money. The Queen of Pentacles knows everything there is to know about success. The Queen of Pentacles knows everything there is to know about making albums. The Queen of Pentacles knows everything there is to know about selling albums. She seems cultured. If this squid was an album, triple platinum. This <gasps> Metroid was a guitar, the Queen would shred it. And yet the queen is emotional, which is represented by the fact that she is underwater in a sea of emotions. Which means if you wanna if you wanna kick it with the queen and queen of pentacles, you gotta do it for the right reasons. It's gotta be about right. the emotion. Of course. Not about the money. If you're uh. about the money, this is you. You're the squid, you're the eel. You're the Metroid. But if it's about the passion, you get the money dress. You get to kick it with the queen. Who's next? We're answering all the world's questions, all of life's deepest mysteries. You have a once in a lifetime chance to call. King Captain, I don't often do this, and I don't know if I'll ever do it again. But I feel like it's a special occasion, and so King Captain has come to offer his services, his knowledge, and his goggles of divination, which can peer far into the future, can peer distantly into the past and can view all things going on all over the world right now. Which pretty much covers any question you would have. King Captain knows the answers to. Brutus. Hello. Rutouche, what is your question? 
I want to know, why is my cat afraid of my parakeet? A serious question, indeed. Scream your question as loud as you can. Why is my cat afraid of my parakeet? Why is my cat afraid of my parakeet? Why is my cat afraid of my parakeet? It's the other promo card in the deck. I forgot the question. Will you scream it as loud as you can one more time? Why is my cat afraid of my parakeet? The Four of Cups. It is not that your cat is afraid of your parakeet. Marutush. It is that you have so many great things in life set before you. Your vast 75% of your wildest dreams have come true, and yet you still focus on the 25% of things that are wrong. The cat and the parakeet, that is a projection. This cup is a gold cup and it has a leaf in it. That's good. This cup is a glass cup and it has a leaf in it, also good. This is the purple goblet and it has the leaf in it. That's great. This is a champagne glass. It has a leaf in it. It's fucked up, where's the champagne? These other ones, you wouldn't think. Maybe, oh, leaf in here, leaf in here, leaf in here. And then you come to this one and you go, where's the champagne? This, where's the champagne? That's why is my cat afraid of my parakeet? Okay. My bird drink the champagne. Every time you ask why is my cat afraid of my par parakeet, in your mind, replace that question with where's the champagne? Who cares is the answer. Where is the champagne? Lots of dissatisfaction in Mutush's life, but he has a lot of things going well for him. And he needs to look at the things that are going right and ignore the things that are going wrong. Quail bo Quail boy, boy Jr. Quail Boy Jr. Yes. You're on the phone with King Captain. What is your question? I have to travel for work this week, and I wonder, will I remain healthy on this trip? Not that one. The priestess. Oh. The priestess card knows everything. She has it here in her book of knowledge. I'm gonna read the. I'm gonna read the book. What the book says. There's a picture of. Uh, there's mountains in this book here. Are you traveling to a place with mountains? No. Um, Illinois has okay. no mountains. Okay, good. It's a good sign. So far, so good. It looks like we get close up here. Uh, a house with a brown roof. Are you going to a building, white walls and a brown roof? Very dark walls at this building. Not white walls. Okay, two for two. We're going to do one more. This next one is a, is a no, you're, you live. If this okay. one is a yes, that yeses are bad. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
seems tricky. There's a lot of information on this card. Oh, oh. She's pointing a finger to a squiggle here. Can we see that? Everybody see the, she's pointing a finger to a squiggle right there. I'm gonna count how many peaks are in the squiggle. Okay. There are seven peaks in the squiggle, which represents one, the seven days in one week. Are you going to stay in this place for longer than one week? If the answer is yes, that's bad. No, I will not be staying for more than one week. Well, boy, Junior, have a good trip. That's the kind of information the cards can reveal, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good trip, Quail Boy, Junior. <sighs> All right. I think we're going to do one more. What do you say up there, ghost of uh, Christmas future? One more? We're going to do one goggles on here good make it a good one here uh -oh, everybody's calling in now all right a Taku W. You're on the phone with King Captain. We are adventuring through the astral plane, my friend. We are astral projecting all kinds of things in all kinds of places, and nobody can run and nobody can hide. Hello, Hello King Captain. Yes. And any any thought anybody has ever had out there, we can astral project into their consciousness through these cards. And we can know their thoughts. So, and any thought you've ever had about somebody, we can reveal through these cards. So, that's a little scary, too. If you ask something personal, you'll get a personal answer. If you ask something important, you'll get an important answer. If you ask something frivolous and silly, you get a frivolous and silly answer. What's your question, Ataku W? Did we lose him? I must know, King Captain. I have lived in this fine city for five years. Must I stay here or must I voyage elsewhere? Shout your question as loud as you can. Must I stay or must I go, King Cat? The Wheel of Fortune. The wheel of fortune turns and turns and turns. But which one are you? Hmm. Let's just examine the wheel and we will find out. Uh, 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 here we have uh, a person in an American flag shirt with a fishtail. It's like an American mermaid emotional. The fish represents emotions. The American flag represents America. And this person could be you. This person could be America in turmoil right now. The wheel of fortune keeps on turning. Sometimes we're at the top of the wheel. Sometimes we're at the bottom. Sometimes we're this rabbit over here being crushed by the wheel. So 
Sometimes we are the towers being destroyed. Hmm. Hmm. On this side of the wheel, a city being destroyed. Don't want to live there. On this side of the wheel, a castle with a, with a nice condominium built in front. Nice neighbors that look up to you and respect you. They're not quite as successful as you are, and that makes you feel good. You look at them through your window and think, I like living here. Which place will you end up in? For this, we must seek more cards. Where, if you were going to move, where would you move to? LA. The Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is a powerful card, and I think Los Angeles is represented in the Ace of Cups. If you move to Los Angeles, you will be the cup. The Ace represents a new beginning from which you drink from the cosmic teat. The milk is as good. This is the nectar of the gods. This is literally a god teat. And the constellation can only be seen from Los Angeles. This is the Big Dipper. Uh, as seen through the Los Angeles sky. And the roses represent a bountiful, bountiful success in Los Angeles as you swim in the teat's milk of Hollywood. Ace of Cups represents a new beginning, new relationships, good things. I believe you should move to Los Angeles. I said that was the last call, and so it shall be. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Oh, the divine spirits call to me. Says brother. Yes, hello. Do you have a question for the cards and the divine spirits? They're channeling through me at this very moment. Yes, I do. Um... An important question gets an important answer. Uh, recently a, uh, hacker took control of my chastity cage, and so my question is, how do I raise the funds? How do I get this money to give to this hacker? Scream your question as loud as you can. How do I get this money? The Nine of Wands. This is you. This is brother. Hanging on to the rope ladder as the tree burns down around you. Up here is the little glass of water. You think this glass of water is going to help? You think going up this burning tree to get this glass of water is the solution here? Is that really maybe. what you're trying to do? King Captain thinks maybe you should think of going the other direction. You 
Nathan, final call. Nathan, you're on the phone with King Captain. Hey, sorry about that. My internet went down for a second. Shout your question as loud as you can. Uh, I had a bad day at work, and I'm thinking, should I quit my job?